We can do it from the beginning. Only import material dot dart and void main. Material dot dart is a dart file containing many material widgets. To create such widgets, we need to create a class because a widget is a special type of object. Class class name my app. You can give any name. Just be sure to be the first letter capital. Let us inherit a class of Flutter using the extend keyword. Extend stateless widget. This is a base class in the materials dot dart file. In addition to using its functionality, we can also add new features. A build method that returns widgets while extending this class must be written. The build context argument must pass. It is an object used to draw on the screen. We need to create and return the material app. All the arguments in the material app meathead are named arguments. Home argument. Pass scaffold as home parameter in the material app. Let's create an app bar. App bar. App bar widget. Pass the text widget as the title parameter. Give the title. Run a simulator. Run app. The app has run. Now open the pubspec.yaml file. In this, we need to add assets. Here is the list of assets. Please remove comments. Indentation should be important. The asset comes as a child below the flutter. Indentation is two spaces for the child. Here three is the space and make it two.
Now create a folder in the project folder. Give it a name. Here it is given as images. We can drag and drop an image or go to the folder location and add it. Location is to be given in assets. Images slash nature dot jpg. Click on the pub get here. Now take the main.dart file. You can add a body below the app bar. Body. Image. Image asset image. Enter the same name as in pubspec.yaml. Images slash nature dot jpg The image came up Wrap with center. If you have a lot of assets like this, there is no need to add everything. Just add the directory name. 